Oh my god! Oh my god! They sound like a dinosaur. Oh my god, to your left, I can't do it. I can't do it. Good morning, my friends. We are here in Chitwan again with the one and only Surinda. Yes. And we are going to be doing the Jeep Safari. Jeep Safari in this morning. So, guys, it's going to be a jam packed video. Here's our tuk tuk ready to roll. Here's our driver and here's our passenger. I'm the driver now. <laughs> I am the captain now. Okay, okay. let's go. Okay, let's go. let's go. Hi, good morning, bro. Namaste, die. In this video, we are in the southern part of Nepal, Chitwan. With a population of over half a million people, Chitwan is famous for their national park, which was established in 1973, and also Nepal's first ever national park. We'll be exploring the incredible park in this video in the hope to find some of the most exotic animals. Be sure to stick around to the end of the video so you don't miss out on the animals that we will find. All right, we are officially crossing the river now. We're gonna head into that safari park just over there. And of course we are crossing where there's the biggest crocodiles literally just relaxing and sunbathing this morning. This place is just insane. We're literally crossing in a canoe on the other side. this thing here. Wow. Here we go. Go another way. Let's embark on this journey my friends and we have the captain just behind me. He's going to row us all the way to the other side which is actually the entrance to the safari. <laughs> We have officially made it on to the safari land. So we're going to the Jeep now first, yeah? We've officially made it into the entrance of the safari. Namaste, my friend. How are you? So we've got all the Jeeps here lined up. We've actually come very early because the earlier you do the safari, the better. Otherwise, you're going to have loads of jeep cars literally distracting all the animals and as we know when the animals get scared they don't come out so we're literally the only ones at the minute and we have the whole park to ourselves. we're about to embark onto our jeep let's do this here's our boys how are you namaste what's your name brother and this is kalmadra kalmadra yeah. and you? of course surendra surendra and yes. yad i'm yad. yad yeah you are okay. a driver yes Yes. Let's do it then. Yeah. Zam zam. Jam jam. Jam jam. Jam jam. Jam jam. Now we are starting our safari tour. Yeah. Hope we're gonna see something. Try our best. Something. Can, yeah. We want to see many things. Yeah, yeah. Of course, that's. Uh... <laughs> gonna hopefully be lucky enough to see three or four different types of animals because this is a wild safari park and there is no control over what you see and what comes out. So it just depends on how lucky we are. So I'm hoping on this safari tour we are going to get very, very lucky. So the first bit of a wild something that we saw here are these elephant grass. Apparently this grass here can grow up to seven meters. I wouldn't think I uh, never expected to hear about elephant grass in a safari, but here we are. We have found our first bit of wildlife and it's a deer. Crazy monkeys. Yeah. So guys, we've seen there, we've seen a monkey. It's coming down, it's come to give us. A... Guys, we've literally come in the middle of like a little monkey family here. They're all jumping around the trees and going crazy. So we have managed to see our first two animals on the trip, which is a monkey and a deer. Well, it seems like we've got something else. So it seems like we are now literally on the open field. You can just imagine this is definitely like a great hunting ground for animals at night time because you've got a huge open space. You've got these tall trees where apparently the, is it the leopards? Le uh, leopard? Yeah. They hide uh, hide in the trees. Oh, okay, you go and climb the trees. They climb the trees and they probably look for their prey. Yeah. Wow, you can just imagine. And these, this grass that you see here, I mentioned earlier, this is actually the famous elephant grass and it can go up to seven meters. Seven meters. Seven. How high would you say this grass is now? Seven meters, it'll be in the flip zone. The other way to seven meters is grown about eight or three months ago. Seven meters, that's yeah. that higher than so a human. That's higher than a human. You can 
easily get lost in this grass. So check this out guys, this is where bears dig. What do they dig for? Uh, it's a termite, you can see Termites. the termite there. It's termite. They, he got found in there is a termite. It's aunt, white aunt. Okay. And he's just making a swallow to eat. So this is where he eats? Yeah. Already oh. he ate. This is not in a today, yesterday. Oh, whoa, the, is that a bee, beehive? Yeah, that's a beehive. Look. Oh, oh my god. So, so, guys, there's actually the Nepalese army here in the safari itself because there are some poachers that come here and try to poach the animals. What, what do they try to get mostly? Mostly the rhinos. Rhinos, the horn, the horn, the horn right? Yeah, yeah. After driving around for a long time we finally found some wild animals which were two bears in the jungle and then we quickly went after them to make sure we can catch them this time. Wow, so we just basically saw two wild bears having sex. They are mating, mating period. Oh, oh my god, god. Like a, they sound like a dinosaur. Hi. Guys, the bear is literally right in front of us as we speak. Honestly guys, this was one of the most wildest things I've ever seen in my life. Firstly, I've never even seen a bear in my life and to see it so up close was just so incredible. Anyway, let's see what else we're gonna find on this journey. Guys, we've got these things here which are called strangler vines and they just go all the way up the tree. And how many years does it take to actually kill the tree? Uh, it takes about more than 150 years. Wow, that's insane guys, look at that. Safari traffic. Uh, got three elephants ahead, guys. Okay. Wow, look at these babies. Namaste, die. Namaste. Oh, get away. Oh, my God. You to make a namaste. Oh, no, namaste. Namaste. <laughs> oh, my God, bro. <laughs> Oh my god, it's stinky. Wow. It's stinky. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> it's like oh. a... Bro, oh they need to... Oh my god, to your left. I can't oh. do it. I can't do it. Oh my god. <laughs> this is... Oh my god. Shit. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. I did not expect this. <laughs> oh my god. Bro. Right. Get away. Get right, they need to get away. Oh my god. <laughs> 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 They're like playing with us. Oh, oh god. god, his nose on me. We have just seen our first official rhino straight up. Wow. Namaste, die. <laughs> Namaste, die. <laughs> it's die, yeah, die. Yeah. He's die. He's older. He yeah. looks like he's got, he's it's like wearing male, male some rhino. armor. It's male rhino. It's huge. Wow, this is what I was saying. These rhinos apparently usually live on their own and they literally only spend time with their kids in five years or they just go on solitude on their own. And so he's waiting. We are literally right next to a massive crocodile. Right yes, it's male cows. So where, where are the eggs? It's here. You see the finger is showing. And this is the, uh, the way the rock. The, there is a, the uh, uh, sea making a the dig yeah, and they yeah. lay the eggs and they just cover. And that's his head, just there. Yeah, the head is there. Wow. Officially made it back, guys, to where it all started. And it started raining. Perfect timing to actually leave the safari. Officially made it back to the land of living. Have a great day. Thank you for the good times.
Here we are. Are mm -hmm. oh, we all getting on together, yeah? Yep. Okay. <clears throat> We're like a big group of people with us this time. Oh, yeah. We made it off in one piece out of Safari alive. We didn't get eaten, but we did see things that eat us. So we saw a bear, we saw rhinos, we saw deers, elephants, monkeys, birds. I think we've got a good, um, good amount of animals. A huge thank you to the legend, the one and only Surindra for helping okay, us out. Thank brother. you, my friend. Yep. Thank you. See you thank next you. time again. Very kind man. Yep. Thank you, sir, for You're an welcome. amazing day. Appreciate it. Okay, brother. Bye. Bye. See you, man. Yeah. Well, and that is officially our jungle tour finished, and we're saying goodbye to our uh, guide. He was such a kind man. Um, you would see in my video the one before this when we actually met him he was never too pushy never too like you know you have to come with me or anything so that's what made us actually go with him and overall we paid 21,000 which is about 160 dollars for two people and we actually managed to have a whole jeep to ourselves and i think i mentioned it earlier the hotel was trying to charge us like 375 dollars like almost more than double so I'll leave his details in my description as well guys if you ever come to Chituan you can hit him up so just in town now guys I'm gonna get a haircut because uh, it's getting a bit long ready for the trip to over in Pokhara so we're gonna see if we can get a nice haircut to finish off our day here in town in Chituan apparently there's like a barber shop that I can find around here so Let's see, uh, let's see what it's saying. So as I'm walking to find this barbershop guys, I just want to let you know a little bit about the Chituan area. So this is kind of like the main strip and you've got kind of a few hotels along the way like Riverview Jungle Camp and loads of other different kind of small resorts along the way on this strip. Um, but where we're staying is actually a little bit out of the way um, but it's really nice because it's kind of in the jungle um, it's about 10-15 minutes by a tuk tuk to come in this area but if you wanted to be in the heart of the strip then you can actually book one of these hotels that are across here because then you can just walk out and you'll basically have all this area for yourself but right now it's around 2 p.m in the afternoon so very very quiet as you can see the area usually gets quite lively towards the evening time i'd say 6 p.m onwards and then you have kind of everyone comes out and having their dinner having a good time looks like we may have uh, found ourselves a little barber shop here in town let's have a look they got their lights on namaste my friends how are you are you open yes who's the best here? who's the best here for skin fade okay you can see that. you're good yeah yes all right let's do it What's your name, brother? My name is Atash Thakur. Atash, I'm Yad. Yeah. Nice to meet you. All right, let's get this. Uh, let's get this trim, guys. So, guys, is uh, fading up now. Starting to look fresh. This is where the fade comes in. My friends, we have got the fresh skin fade by my brother here, and now he's saying we're going to do Nepalese massage. Yeah, yes. okay, let's go, guys. To think our bro here, he's only 19 years old, very talented. So, is this like your family shop? This is the shop, yeah, family. family. So, we're about to get a uh, Nepalese haircut massage. And I've done some of these over like around the world, like, usually in Dubai when I was living there. They have a lot of this, the, the massages. Oh, here we go. Fantastic, bro. Oh, is that your food? Was you eating? Uh, no, I'm good, bro. I was saying maybe you were having your lunch when I came in. Sorry, man. <laughs> it's going to get cold, bro. I interrupted them when they were eating. Feel bad. What well, you got there? What food do you have? It's called Bro, I, I just ate literally. 
What is it like? A uh, Nepalese dish? Chak yeah, pan. it's like chak pan. Nars and not spicy. Not spicy. Nars. I got a bad belly, so I can't try it. Uh, uh, I had yeah. too much dal bhat yeah. every day. Dal bhat, momo. <laughs> so my stomach is finished. So now I'm just eating pasta every day. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, look at that, guys. Got some Nepalese delicacy here. What is it like? Rice? No, it's mixed up. Mix up. Noodles. Nice. Green. Okay. Interesting. It looks spicy as hell. Not so much. A little bit spicy. Okay. Look at this guy. Professional. Got the hand pulled back. Pure professional. Alright, that is my first Nepal haircut finish, guys. Let me know in the comments what you think. Fresh fade. Thank you, bro. Thank you so much. How much do I owe you for this? What's the price for the haircut and massage? Haircut, uh, 8 How much? Haircut, haircut. 8 Haircut, 1,000. Haircut, 1,800, yeah. yeah. So let's do the maths there, my friends. So 1,800, guys, for the Nepalese haircut and massage. Thank you. Hey, brother. Thank you so much. See you, yeah? Guys, if you come to Chitwan, Come to our young young 19 year old to give you a fresh trim, he will look after you. See you bro. Take care, yeah? nice to meet you. Peace out. Alright, time to go um, probably head back to the hotel, get some rest because the journey after today is gonna be a five hour journey to Pokhara tomorrow. So gonna get some rest and uh, we'll see you on the next episode here in the beautiful country of Nepal. And as always guys, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe and I can't wait to see you on the next one. See you later, guys. Peace out.